Al Pros on Overwatch 2 during our halftime of today's grand I, finals. I don't know. Do I honestly don't know about that. Break, uh, as long as you're watching Jeff the Goodman streams, you've got rewards to turn on. The show for an exclusive first look at the reworks for okay, here we go. As well as Bastion. Oh. See, Danny, don't oh. have to wait that long. Okay, let's but do it. First, we have a very special treat for you Give me right the treat. now because here is a sneak peek Give at me. the new looks for everyone's favorite robot with a chain gun. Give me Give me and Bastion. It's Bastion. Ooh, okay, let's do it. Bats. Let's do it. Was right. In the Overwatch comic binary, we learn that Bastion and Torbjorn have now become friends. And we all know that Torbjorn just can't resist giving his friends some upgrades. This ties in well with our philosophy for the new looks, which is to make our heroes feel techier and sleeker. <laughs> With Bastion, it's a little tricky at first because if you think of Bastion, he almost feels like a very rickety old truck in the way he moves and the way he looks. We were able to give him a slightly sleeker look while preserving some of that rustic flavor in his animations. You'll notice that tech upgrades weren't the only thing that Bastion got though. He also grabbed one of Torbjorn's old hats. <laughs> when we first added Ganymede to Bastion's kit, it was to make him feel give more Ganymede approachable a hat. and more relatable. Yes. The hat does something very similar while playing off his newfound friendship with Torbjorn. <laughs> Okay, so he looks exactly like he does in the concept art. <laughs> I mean, the preferred fine. internet provider of the Overwatch League. I just hope that they they like with the skins, he gets like different hats. It'd be really cool. Except apparently you're Hammond. Cheers, you, Andy. You, you just, <laughs> it's just a period in your hat. Oh god. See, here's the thing. Bastion ain't the only one who got a got a rework. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Uh, this is your Two <laughs> Hat. That's what you can expect from next season. Well, at least got, you know, the actual hat. <laughs> time, yes. But uh, no, jokes aside, this is the <laughs> moment we've all been waiting I'm for. I'm sure that'll appear Please very soon. I'm sure that'll turn up on your merch shelf. Designer, Jeff Goodman. Jeff, how are you doing? Oh, it's Jeff. Hey, how are you guys doing? Thanks. Hello, Jeff. We're doing great. Do you like our rework? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love Big it. fan of the hat to wear. <laughs> you don't even need it. It doesn't even look that sunny out there anymore. <laughs> it, it really doesn't. It's still warm, though. It's still warm. You wouldn't like it. Wouldn't like it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just in my room here. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now, Jeff, uh, let's start with a really easy question for you. When's the release date? No, I'm, I'm just <laughs> Yeah, come on, give us the release date. I had to shoot my shot, though. I had to shoot my shot. But seriously, uh, what, what can you tell us about how the game is coming along so far? Oh, it's coming along great. I mean, we're doing just constant play tests all the time and finding new things we want to try and a lot of things that aren't working a lot of things that are working sort of surprising us so um, i think we're sort of in this world now where we're, we're still sort of experimenting with a lot of big things like you know just as an experiment we're gonna try doomfist as a tank and stuff like that i don't know if that'll work it probably won't work but you know oh, why not? what, do what <laughs> doomfist is a tank <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> all right all right, Jeff. Uh, why don't we let's let's just what? give the people what they want. I think the first thing that we'll be looking at is the new Sombra rework. Um, anything yeah. you want to say to you know set this up? Yeah. So I mean, a lot of this is uh, I, you know we've talked about this a little bit before, but um, we have this sort of goal we're going for right now to try to sort of reduce crowd control effects uh, throughout the game. Um, and a lot the way we're sort of targeting nice. that is nice. um, kind of leaving it on tanks it's kind of like a big thing that they get to do and it's like their big role um or among other things we do of course but that so what it really comes down to is we're looking at all the non-tanks and figuring out you know what kind of crowd control is really necessary um what do we think we can get away with um what feels kind of fair and what feels kind of unfair <laughs> i know that's a little uh a little hand wavy <laughs> but <laughs> I thought everyone has their own opinion on that i'm sure but um so for right now for example honest still has her sleep dart um we kind of feel like that's pretty fair i don't know maybe we'll find out that people people don't like that i don't know i think i think most people think it's pretty cool but um but as part of these changes don't touch uh, my sombra <laughs> but uh, as part of these changes sombra is definitely you know a, a big target because it's like she has a, she's all about crowd control in some sense um so so that's where a lot of this rework comes from so the first thing is really just like how to reduce her sort of uh disabling effects while still keeping her really strong so i think that's a decent lead and i think it all kind of explains Ooh. So well, we like right. the sound so of excited. that uh let's just <laughs> dive straight in and take a look at the Do sombra it. or rework. give it us yes, please <laughs> please <laughs> okay here we go here we go chat sombra rework on the new york map for Sombra's rework, we have some really important changes that can dramatically affect the way she's played. 
Overall, we are reducing her CC abilities in line with larger changes to Overwatch 2 and giving her more potential damage. Let's start with changes to her hack ability. First, we significantly reduce the cooldown. Secondly, hey, her hack, hack now lasts eight seconds, but now has two components to it. The first component of the ability works exactly like it does in Overwatch 1, disabling Ugh. abilities. However, that effect now has been reduced to one second. Okay. The second component of hack is a brand new effect that reveals hack targets to Sombra oh. and her team through walls, and it lasts the entire duration of the hack. Oh. In addition oh. to that, oh. her passive has gained oh. the ability to do 50% more damage to hacked targets. What? She's got like, what? Good her lord! Ability, we tweaked it so it no longer <laughs> removes all shields, but instead, <laughs> it now just deals damage to enemies equal to 40% of their current health. Hey! Combined hey. with her new passive effect, this gives her even what? more what? potential. <laughs> Lastly, an update that really leans into her character is that you can now hack while being in stealth mode. You are briefly revealed what? when hacking, what? but it no what? longer removes stealth completely. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh my word. So it's basically like wow. an interrupt wow. is wow. kind of the gist. Wow. Big fan of that. But uh, that EMP guys, change. <laughs> like, that's a, that's what a EMP? Of, uh, that, yeah. I mean, but, I'm but, a main tank player, you know, straight off the bat. Everyone knows this. Uh, that's so EM, fun, though. EMPs and hacks, it's a big part of my Overwatch life. <laughs> now, hopefully oh not as much word. anymore. Good so, actual uh, I mean, lord. You mentioned it going what? into the video, of course. You've been uh, taking an approach, talking about these different uh, crowd control I mean... effects, whether it's Maze, Freeze ability, and in mm -hmm. this case, Sombra's hack ability. Um, that, what was that your ultimate, thinking the EMP, uh, when it, it came just... to hacks? From I'm, just, I'm thinking of like damage value and, and like you can half a team effectively. Yeah, so it's pretty tricky because uh, sh you know she's so. Anyone else's ult do that? Quite effectively. You know, you got effect. Bob so like shouting away. We don't want to back away from her. Try as hard as you can, doesn't and doesn't Sombra's just so deleting still people's before to have value when she plays. Um, so we started looking at other effects and what could we do um, that is impactful but isn't quite as as brutal as just locking somebody out of their abilities for so long. We actually tried a version for a while where she just couldn't disable abilities at all. Um, but there's some cool moments where you get to sort of, uh, d you know, counter like a fire ult that you see in the video or something if you just if you're there at the right time or you're waiting for it at the right time. So we ended up keeping it in for just a short period of time, much shorter than usual. Just it's almost more of an interrupt than actually, you know, um, setting somebody up for a long a long duration thing. Yeah. Um, but we let the hack last a longer, and then most importantly, she gets to do a ton more damage when she against hack targets. So it's really this play when you're playing against her where, you know, she can hack while she stealths. So uh, you know, your backline starts to get hacked. It's almost like a, like a, 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 like a flag drop. Like I'm about to come at this person. It's like a warning to everybody <laughs> that yeah. you know. And it's it's almost I'm like a disadvantage for, for her in a way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, where yeah. you know she has to essentially call her targets before she gets to do real, uh, big damage to them. So, um, but uh, on the flip side, yeah, she gets yeah. to do way um, more damage than she has ever done before. Hunt so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I'm it's always fun. I do mark. think there's a really good place for Sombra in Overwatch, and I like these changes as well. Uh, the ability to mark targets essentially and then go after them. Yeah. I, I think it's a really interesting change. Yeah, I mean, I I think, am I the only one that's super excited for the uh, to just, I just want to. Oh, I'm always on the receiving end. Yeah, what happens if you nano Sombra, this Sombra so and she I'm hacks like, a target and then what? Wait, it, what it's just gone re off the planet, dead instantly. I know. I mean, I get, I play a lot of Zenyatta, so that was my life anyway. I mean, I mean, you just explode. You talked actually a lot about. Now everyone gets that fun feeling, I guess. I want you to, you know. I want to ask you a little bit deeper. What direction yeah. uh, are you trying to go with Sombra, just as a hero? Turn her into right. a killing machine, so, Danny. I mean, she. I've always liked that she's sort of this, a little more of a setup hero. Like, obviously, she still requires a decent amount of aim skill, but she's not, you know, the widow or or anything of the group. So, but so I like that she's got this hybrid sort of very situational uh, awareness and timing game going on, but also, you know, obviously being decent at aiming helps a lot with her. Um, so I wanted to keep a lot of that intact, and so I think a lot of what we see here is sort of deepening that in a way because, um, you know, when we've been playtesting it, for example, we've done there's a lot of like kind of mind gaming things you can do because the hack cooldown is really low now. Mm -hmm. So like I said before, when you hack somebody, you're kind of calling them out like I'm about to open on this guy and do much damage, but like you can hack somebody right. and then you're still stealth, run to a completely different area, hack somebody else, and <laughs> the whole team like rotated to help that person, but then you hack somebody else and go after them instead, and like it's so somber to be able oh, to no. just like mess with people oh, like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> so great. Um, <laughs> Super fun. Plus the EMP yeah, that, just got so much more powerful. 
Right, you're just right. going to get somber yeah, running I, I around hacking people doing nothing the, all game. The element of the hack I mean, that, that makes how it different is that from now is now, the yeah. extra yeah. damage increase. And as a poor player who's been hacked also a lot in my life, the, the fear of that damage is going to go up even higher, especially mm -hmm. with that EMP. Is that a big, like, tuning moment of, like, how much damage can this well, Sombra really put out? Because like, how she's going more is to, Sombra as you said, a DPS to than up. a crowd Different from Genji hero. just, like, um, jumping into the back line and right clicking a few times. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, um, I think it's like once you get past really that initial phase, because um, it doesn't remove shields anymore. But then the combo, like, like so can you hack actually into does less damage nano blade, to, or not into nano blade, blade. Um, any hero that has a ton of extra shields. Because it doesn't remove shields. just said though, it doesn't remove shields anymore. So Zen doesn't get hammered, does he? But you still got a Louis like it's 40% of their health. Especially against tanks, it's 40% of their current health. Current health. It's different than Sigma's ultimate, where it's not their max health, so it can't actually kill anybody. But, you know, the earlier you do in the fight as a big setup move, it does so much more damage and weakens everybody. Um, it's this great sort of alley-oop, you know, obviously into a grab or something is great. Like, well, everything into a grab is great. So that's Any song remains change, in the but... chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Point, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, type hack the right, planet if you're a song Sombra remain is the, the only chat. hero getting a rework in Overwatch yeah. 2 uh, of course you will be working on basically everything but uh, here on our Watchpoint pre-show we are only, uh, also going to take a look at Bastion's rework because oh, no. there's more to him than just uh, oh, a, a pretty robot with a hat uh, anything you want to <laughs> yeah. say before we roll the tape um, the tape probably shows pretty much everything but I will say um, <laughs> it was definitely a goal to <laughs> Much like Sombra, I guess, try to maintain some of that, that that general flavor of sort of being able to sacrifice your mobility for extra damage. Um, but yeah, Bastion needed that. Bastion now fires nuclear warheads. It's sort of head. like impossible to play. He's laughing. As, as Look, he knows it's going to be mental. Uh, <laughs> he knows. He knows, so, chat. He's uh, like, it's going to be mental. We'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> Hack the planet, well, chat. We'll see indeed. Well, let's, uh, you know, let's, go. let's dive straight in. Let's roll the tape and see <laughs> what you guys have done with Bastion. <laughs> Oh Lord. Bastion is getting a big rework for Overwatch 2, and the team is really excited about his changes. Look-wise, we updated and modernized his appearance with the use of sleeker, more modern materials. We also gave him a hat to help him stand out and to add an extra touch of character. So going through Bastion's abilities, uh, well, for starters, he no longer has his self-repair button at all. It's just okay. gone. Instead, he now has a brand new ability that's bound to alternate fire. This ability fires a, a projectile hey. that can bounce off of walls and stick to players. Hey. It does a ton of damage, has a really big radius, and it's super fun oh to fire. My. What? The recon form weapon has changed so significantly as well. It now has no spread at all, but has reduced fire rate to compensate. This lets him poke at much longer ranges and play a little more like a pseudo sniper, kind of like his recon form theme is always kind of meant to be. For his ultimate, we completely changed it up. It's not artillery! He no longer has this tank mode, he what? instead goes into a new artillery mode. What? You then get to choose three points to call down an artillery strike. What is this? This is amazing! The the this is amazing! Now finally, something we think you'll all be excited about. While in sentry form, Bastion can now move. <laughs> Look, he's a mini a reduced tank. movement speed. We've also changed the ability to have a cooldown now. This lets us keep it super strong since you can't use it all the time. Good God. <laughs> I like that. I actually like that. That's good. I like oh, that. Okay. It looks so fun. Like, wow. That looks really cool. All right. Those are certainly some changes. Go on, Jeff. And explain it to us. Questions, but I feel like I need, I need some time to process this. That's cool this. as hell. Uh, you want to take over reinforce? Yeah. I mean, I, I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, very good ones, of course, because that was uh, amazing. Uh, reworking Bastion, of course, from more of a specialist, you know, being in Sentry now. He has more mobility, as you mentioned. Uh, what, what was the problems you were trying to fix with Bastion uh, making these changes in the rework? Yeah, so with Bastion, you know, he was one of our earliest heroes, and uh, the game was a lot different back then, of course. And, uh, you know, we tried to tune sort of this huge disadvantage with just not being able to Ooh, move. Limited ammo was like, the chat. How do we give him enough firepower to make that worth it? And there, I don't know if there's some magic tuning point, but I'm sure we, we definitely tried a lot of numbers to work there, but it really comes down to the fact that, like, it, being unable to move in a game like Overwatch, and you have heroes that have so much mobility and so much burst damage, like it's kind of just unrealistic to try to like tune that in such a way that makes any sense. Um, so when we first, you know, kind of went to the drawing board on him again, and it was like, 
let's look at the sort of elephant in the room here and like does he really need to be completely immobile um, to have this sort of effect so that's sort of where we start experimenting right away with like maybe he can move somewhat <laughs> like, even just be able to move a little bit yeah. so he can like <laughs> go behind cover and stuff so a huge difference um so he's at 50 percent move speed right now i mean all these numbers you know going on right now are subject to change of course we're doing a lot of testing and stuff but, yeah uh, yeah but yeah for sure I love the look of it, though. It's just Good this Lord. slow, almost comedic, choo -choo, <laughs> deadly choo-choo Chat, I'm told that uh, <laughs> tank form does have a duration yeah, in addition to the cooldown. Before it rounds the corners, you know it's coming. <laughs> oh, no. It's the sniper that I'm, I love like, it. Now I have some time to, you know, like recollect my thought. Accurate. Uh, I do need to know, though. How much damage does that artillery actually do? And even more importantly... 10,000, come on, tell us, Jeff. Reflect it. Reflect it back. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting ability because... Because, you know, it's it's almost a little bit like Doomfist ult where you get to create, the, you know, this targeting area to to, to drop, well, in this case, uh, artillery shells. Um, but it worked kind of like Doomfist for targeting purposes. Um, but you get to shoot three of them, and uh, the actual projectile coming down from above is a projectile like any other. So it can be defense matrix, it can be reflected, it can be, you know, oh, all can these things. So you, can, you can look up and block it with Reinhardt. <laughs> I <laughs> It's possible for wow. it to hit a flying yeah. Pharah if she's really unlucky. <laughs> like, it's just flying Oh! <laughs> my, my mind is going wild with possibilities <laughs> right now. Like, what can we do with yeah, this? I, like, I can see the clips already. Things, like, <laughs> if you flux them and they're up in the air, and then you, you strike them when they're in the yeah. air. Or, or just... What? Or just grab them. And just... Grab. <laughs> it always comes back to the grab. <laughs> yeah, every, yeah, everything just goes well with the grab. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like... Answer to everything. Yeah, it's like black it's clothing. Yeah. It's like, oh, that works. <laughs> All right. Thanks uh, for the I have... Uh, this might not be a smart question, but I really wanted to ask this. So, my no favorite dumb mode questions, yeah, for ba Bastion Rework was the Sentry mode. I find that very cute as well, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. How long can you stay in that form? Is there a time limit, or can you just... Just roll around. Yeah, we know there's a time limit. Choo -choo forever, Can you choo choo forever? forever. <laughs> yeah, drive forever. So it has a cooldown now, to. which is pretty different. Uh, I mean, before oh. it was part of his sort of, oh. you know, kit to be able to transform wherever he wanted to. But it got to the point where he really wanted to keep a lot of the power in this thing, even though he can move. He wanted it to be very, very powerful. And when you see him come around the corner, you'd be really scared of it and, you know, maybe have to back up or give him some space or something. Um, so in order to really get that sort of power level, we wanted it, we decided to put a cooldown on it for now. So you can't do it all the time, but the okay. uptime up on it's pretty high. So uh, you definitely are okay. going to be able to do it a lot. Oh. But um, it allows us to like make the ability a lot more. Oh yeah. The way. Also to just to hit on the, like the a, mode a lot. It's like a Cinderella pumpkin kind of right. Like if <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just to touch on the back back and you gotta get out of there. You gotta yeah. get out of there. <laughs> like, just to answer your uh, damage that. ultimate question real quick. Uh, the damage on the ult is because uh, I know people are gonna want to know this stuff for sure. And come on, come some on. people anyway. Uh, the impact, the actual shell coming sure. down from the sky actually does impact damage too, much like our you know, fire rockets and junkrat bombs and stuff like that. Uh, the impact does 300 right now, and the explosion also does 300. Oh. So direct hit is 600 <laughs> if you happen to get hit by it directly. Oh wow! Uh, which is Ooh. really nasty, but oh. it's pretty unlikely to get hit directly. Um, and then it does you know a bunch of fall off from the point of impact out to its 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 full radius. So. <laughs> Uh, you looking at Castle's face, he's going to be the lucky one in the <laughs> middle of it. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I have a problem dodging Wrecking Ball mines. But like, imagine using this, like, like slamming it behind really the team. Avoid. You'd force them forward there to come into it. Doomfist this ultimate. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you said you were changing Doomfist, I didn't expect that I'd have to deal with another person like that. I am interested, though, because, you know, the first thing I thought of when I saw it rolling around, I was like, they just wanted to bring Pirate Ship back, but make it so he can do it himself. He's his own little Pirate Ship now. No chat. Chat. We were right. He gets I don't a need a shield with me. I can do it all myself. So, my my question with that is like, what is the most interesting thing that you've seen with this kit change? Because there's a lot. There's the mine. There's the rolling around in sentry form. The artillery. What's your favorite thing? Oh man, there's a lot to sort of uh, <laughs> comment on here. So it's, uh, I really love the ult. I think it's super fun. Um, the fact you get three shots, uh, you get a lot of kind of mind games with that too because. Typically, when you first play, you're probably just gonna like, you know, carpet bomb an area, bam, 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 yeah. as fast as possible. Yeah. Gives people less reaction time. 
But also what you can do is drop them like right on top of everybody and then drop one kind of where you think they're about to go and then hold the third one for a couple beats and then drop it. Like you can just really mess with people on how you're dropping it because you get to sit in it for a little while. I'm afraid. It, oh my it's, God. It's super I'm fun afraid. just to mess with people. I mean, you have to be a little worried because you're sitting there much like Junkrat is when he does his ultimate where you're sitting there vulnerable somewhere and yeah. hopefully no one's killing you or you're protected or something. Um, so I've definitely got caught sometimes just like being in some silly place, just sitting there for too long trying to mess with people. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty fun. The mind uh, games returns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I do have one one last question I would like to ask anyway. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I'm pretty sure, you know, I've asked you this several times. I've had the chance to speak with you, but I can't remember the answer. Th this time <laughs> with the rework, have you actually tried Bastion being able to mount like Orisa? <laughs> And why did that not work? <laughs> right. Why the Lord would anyone want that? It's amazing. It's like jousting. <laughs> I think there's a workshop mod for that. In fact, I know there is that a workshop like mod for that. That sounds like a more than a Bastion ability to me. Um, okay. I liked it. Just yeah. throw someone up there. Let, her, let, let people around. like so sit on Reese's back. So what I'm hearing from that answer, Jeff, is... Sense. It's not out of question. <laughs> 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 yeah. Or it's a rework. <laughs> I, I fear for our, the sanity of our animators to try to make that look decent in any way possible. <laughs> but, but yeah, maybe. Uh. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not go there. <laughs> you know, great. kudos to you. For these look really cool. Like really that cool. Bastion. I'm trying my best. Really cool. Yeah, that makes really it really fun. You really do. Bastion I, I really is, appreciate is it. I also really chat. appreciate you taking the time here to chat with us, uh, Jeff. We can't wait to oh, see what else you it's and much, the team have in good, store like, for us. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good direction to go. Right. Let's just get a bit crazy and see how it goes. And if everyone gets a bit crazy, it works. And don't forget, everyone, we do have more Overwatch 2 content coming up at halftime for our Owl Pro push demo. You definitely do not want to miss Ooh. it. Now, you also don't want to miss the next match. It's not a big deal. Just the Overwatch League 2021 Grand Finals. We break oh, that one down between the Atlanta Rain and the Shanghai Oh Dragons my God. Right off Yo, I'm P.A. Doom, my man. A red team is going to win. Yo. Yeah. Right <laughs> over there. Highly in-depth analysis there. I <laughs> believe a red team, team is going to win. win. No way. He just knows. Wow. Wow. Just, Total's yeah. going to got that one, man. Yeah, it's right, chat. Give it to me. What did you like the best? The Bastion or the Sombra rework? I'm going to say, I think I like the, the Bastion one, the Sombra one. The Overwatch League is brought to you by the University I, just of seems Hawaii like Manoa. It, it, Go oh to God. take me to Manoa. Hang on, let me, just, let me just turn this down a little bit, guys, so we can have a little chat during the break. Well, we've got five minutes here. Um, when we were talking about the Sombra rework, we said uh, wall hack. So obviously, she hacks the target, your whole team can see them. Um, but they probably weren't going to go for that because they kind of did say that. And then she hacks the target and gets increased damage and they probably weren't going to go with that. <laughs> and and um, EMP, we don't know what they're going to do with that. <laughs> and then they just went, you can have it all. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Hello? <laughs> See, this is the ultimate thing, isn't it, with Overwatch, right? You can have like super fun design and then it'll, it will ultimately it'll get ruined when a meta settles in. But... Out of them two <laughs> heroes there, Bastion looked way more fun to play, but Sombra probably a bit more effective. The the demon in me says that Sombra is probably more fun to play. In terms of like just... no, you can, can you imagine, imagine the toxicity? <laughs> Bastion, I'm going to drop my 1800 damage on them with my mortar, and Sombra's just there. Hack, blows you up. No, goodbye. Like, oh boy, oh, I, no. I want to try that Sombra. I really want to try that Sombra out. Pro. Okay. So, let's send it right, we've got it. Let's do it. Chat, you're off the screen. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you very much, everybody. My God, uh, oh. we've been waiting quite some time for oh. this. This guy's been teasing me about these four weeks. Now, we've seen the reworks and the new looks for Sombra yeah. and for Bastion. Uh, simply Stimpy, thanks for the five. We know we're dealing with 5v5. We know that the Robot Chow like this, it feels like just hanging out with friends, yeah. Of course, with a lot of this content, and we've spoken with the developers yeah. to a degree, this is very exciting. Uh, you know, we got to see it, obviously, during the PvP I feel like Matt's about to sell me some of sort of vigorous insurance plan five, so for something I don't need. <laughs> Uh, now with the like Mitch is about to sell me a condo or something. <laughs> I've a very expensive drink. To be able to get, yeah. uh, cast it, obviously, some of the players that we've had in the playoffs uh, play it in a highly competitive setting. Right? Honestly, I love uh, it. These players, like, you know, throughout this Mitch, the, the shirts and everything, the fashion, <laughs> it's just 10 out of 10. They, they know when they're first showing in Overwatch 2 to be pretty poor. They obviously wanted to win. A 10 thanks for the 5. Uh, so Coach streams are so awesome. 
I uh, much prefer watching over the mainstream. Uh, yeah, the casters do look fresh. Like, you would do this. It's just, it's, it's fun. Do it. You've got to have fun, man. But let's talk about who we actually got in this example to sit down and play through the game. Again, we're not using the same teams as a bit of a mix yep. and match. Uh, team, team 2's DPS looks a little bit better than Team 1. Team 2's quite stacked, man. And obviously a large portion. I know all of these it, players that, come That's from, a scary uh, DPS line, yeah. The gladiators. Those Holy the God. You know, you lose first uh, from the Western region. They've had the most hands-on time uh, with the game. I think probably some fun where they didn't want to just play their full team against sure. their full team and uh, decided so honestly, to like, the things that I'm looking at. They're just going to have fun. They're play, just going to experiment. They're just going to mess around. It'll be fun to see him play. Uh, and then someone's going to take him. someone out and they're all going to get serious and it's going to be great. Adjust to playing in a the solo OH2 solo exhibition right. match happened yet? Uh, we, we got a 5v5 lineup on the screen. I know some of the highlights during the suspect it's happening very soon. You've arrived perfectly timed. It's like though once we get into game yeah, we're going to be taking you in the game in just a second, ladies and gentlemen. So bear with us now. Here we go. Exciting times, of course. To get here we go. Let's go. Of, uh, some high level get a little bit more volume on it. It's going to be Roam. This the map push looks map to start so us good. Off. Yeah, so push is obviously a new game mode. Uh, yeah, so I, I love like Roam aesthetic in general. So uh, it's really it's kind of like a neutral objective. So pretty you have the robot here. Uh, he'll push the barricades depending on who controls uh, the objective back and forth. Uh, what's really great about this is obviously that there's uh, you know not many scenarios you can tie. It's also one of the game modes uh, that you this kind of find nice. where oh, man. there's not uh, there's not really kind of an offense and defense like a hard offense or defense on either side. Uh, what is that in the sky? At, you know, just playing <laughs> just a kind of completely Look at that futuristic uh, coliseum thing over on, there. <laughs> sometimes you're cool. on offense. A lot of just flow to it. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Uh, and look, and Space said there's a lot of fighting. You've it got looks like massive, the lighting that skirmishes uh, going on. The lighting a lot looks of back so and good forth stuff well. here. It's got to be five versus five, of course. Uh, and we already get to see some of these locks to start things off. We're going to see Bastion straight off oh the bat, god, which is great. Also, Sombra. So, both these two new look heroes with their reworks are going to be coming out the gates. Well, also a reminder that there's some of the other changes that were in the They haven't PvP turned the game sound on. Well. <laughs> hey, Reinhardt, when he charges, can just got music playing. You, you see got that power steering, baby. Yeah, space coming out Turn the, the music spawn, on, lads. Right? Uh, the game sound, lads. Come on, let's right go. <laughs> that choke and the, this is where uh, we make it an uh, asterisk. So we are not in control of the audio. Yeah, we're not in control of the audio. Anyway. Look at this. This looks so stupid. There it is, Bastion on the move. Unreal. Oh, here we go. We've got sound now. Oh, this is dirty. This is dirty. But I mean, the fact that you can move around and have that Gatling going. Fire your little Sombra. Fire your mining. It, it, okay, wait, it's not available yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, Sombra. It's, it's, uh, it's Look at really the hack, good. it's like disgusting. Range scenarios Hang on. See here from, oh my god. I know Kevster's POV, Sombra. Oh, right? oh my but god. Used in much more of like an offensive way. Uh, space gets hacked, but you see how fast the ability is. Nice. Back online in a nice fin there to take out closer. Okay, space I mean, is right dirty. Look at the maneuver now, ability he? Like that with he the has. shield up and stuff like that. Like they made him brawl. Yeah. I think he can control his charge more as well. It's more responsive. Obviously. Two, I think TWO is a It's almost like a six. For, for the so you got six players yeah, on your so team when you can control a, a bot chat. Right? Uh, no, the blue yeah, this... team is in the lead right now, pushing that robot. Uh, the, like... the red team okay, gets what's, control what's, what's of it. Doing? Faster, back towards the middle. He it's really tight. Still got his track. Got two concussion mines. Is, uh, Maybe he isn't. Here on the junk rat on the flank. Oh god, Nano the Ryan, let's go. Right there, but yeah, it's, it's, oh my god. Unavailable. We saw this one in the preview, I think. In, yeah, space oh, it's a big shot, bit, let's uh, go. A little bit nutty with you know what, we talked about the DPS right right lineup. Space oh. is just and kind of oh. special. Oh. These don't, don't think it matters. Easy, right? He literally just charged it. And then was Nano, and it was like, let's go. It, well, yes, and I also think one thing you do realize right away oh, is how much more oh my the tanks are, right? <laughs> uh, where space is able to get right up. Uh, it sets up so area. nice for the game as well. There, it's yeah. and he actually tries to go for a shatter. But it's going to be I an mean, EMP from Decay on the other side. By EMP, just the so much much now. Nasty stuff. Assassin's already picked yeah, up. Like the Mercy picked it up it really quickly. And that's the EMP like, coming out. But Verdi still has obviously the use of the dash so soon after the EMP hits. Trying to deal it really, with it really is way more brawlier, isn't it? Like, it's like everyone's just jumping all over the place. Right, as like a, a large one second Fights interrupt. Everywhere. And then it's really about Sombra <laughs> getting the damage. <laughs> and a nice battle that, mercy. Trying to a little bit of battle well. mercy. Yes, and trying to actually finish players off. Uh, oh so my you God. see that's a nice hack here. <laughs> 
uh, onto Moss. Hey, this map seems uh, absolutely uh, massive. Where's Sombra going forward. there? So, Assassin <laughs> does have this uh, Bastion on. We'll see if uh, he's able to get a good use of it. Uh, as on the other side, uh, you also see it's going to be Mag with a Shadow. You see, see this, I, I think this game mode is actually going to be really good. Because so, yeah. I think this works much better in 5v5 than just in 6v6. They're starting to move their barricade up. Look at the hill with it. He's not ready. The hydraulics are just too insane. Mag finds the Shadow Knock space He's on Val. Looks for Assassin who's sleepy and Murdering's going to go for the blade here. That's one. That's two. And almost getting like fifty percent of an forty percent of an entire this, team with one This blade. looks like nice. a massive yeah, death match. <laughs> it looks like what? It looks, uh, obviously, it looks like a, a lot of fast fun. Paced game, but in five v five, just, just the looks like you're taking one v ones everywhere. <laughs> and I think it's a great point, right? They we're used to like two kills with a dragon blade. Is that massive alarm sound time. effect then? Or fashion? Yeah, I think, so. I think he is a 2-2. <laughs> <Three spots down laughs> two, two, two. It's really cool. Splash damage. And everyone has to run away. I mean, it did but nothing, but it was <laughs> really cool. <laughs> it did force them to move, I guess. So. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that EMP. They cause me physical pain. sleep <laughs> dart. See, Assassin is I'm really curious to see, like, because with that EMP, that, uh, if you have one of the it looks like you can just heal everyone up really quickly. Up and, but with, like, Honor, it feels like Honor's going to be a lot weaker. Mm. As, uh, the red team is approaching it. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a checkpoint there uh, for oh, yeah. push. So that'll give one them a little disable, bit of a forward like, spawn. If you don't kill the Zen immediately, yeah, you're just going to have Transcendence in a second. Crazy if like, they had to spawn all it the way it changes so much that it's like difficult to take into account everything at once. Yeah. Uh, also, just oh, to remind people, this is a different version of Zarya. Zarya has the two bubbles on a shared I mean, it's disgusting damage, but I guess he's just nano. The sound of Hellfire shotguns is what he does, right? Especially in that underpass. It's something that Space talked about, right? I know. Graphically, obviously, you know, the new hero looks for cannon? a lot yes. of the different heroes. He gains basically uh, three doom pistols. It's also probably the simplest the way to explain it. it. They can be deflected, where, though, or uh, eaten with uh, defense matrix, or shields like, can intercept them. The damage just feels so strong. And I so think the it's bot's moving back now. Basically, when you cap the bot, it runs back faster of the guns and to basically wherever your so thing was left like and then right? starts pushing it, it again. Really, like, more real, I think, than kind of like... Oh, oh the, the Reaper Sombra the combo on that ride. Your teammates just... Just... Eliminated, like yep. what we in <laughs> yeah, lockout, yeah I mean, that is... Look at the EMP. I mean, <laughs> just, you're just dead. You're just dead. It's disgusting. Yeah, this Sombra is disgusting. <laughs> I think it's actually disgusting. Look at the damage. It's like, just Sombra like now, disgusting. Uh, really just right the, what the hell? It's mental. Uh, now it is just way more of kind of almost like playing a little bit of a tracer I, version. So the blue team is going to get up I don't, I don't, I don't, get towards I, this barrier. You can like, see now they take the lead at the top of the screen. They yeah. are in charge. That yellow line represents style. the enemy team. I think it might be. Sort of <laughs> I think it so might be. Tell sort of it ahead. just seems to win every time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so this is another one. It's like you're now, dead. Changes, obviously. I think uh, the question is like, why play Tracer? Yeah, play yeah, this is scary. Well, well, we, we don't know what's going to happen with Tracer, do we? Maybe she's like. Maybe she falls on the entire team. Space also was the first to fall there. Moth had the rally, but he didn't have it for much longer. As Nano Blade, regardless, you know. So who else is becoming a summer main champ? Because still so impactful as uh, space uh, now see if he can get charged comment up below <laughs> leave a message yeah, sombra if you want now he's no hack the planet you know it's sombra man sat in the middle of the map for the time being but team one lead like I, I kind of like, i do like the, the zarya though pretty like, nice clean up she Easy seems quite nice. A ton of charge individually now. He can like she does, she seems to do extra damage or more damage than she does on live. Having the double yeah, shields is nice. Is, that'll be a team wipe here. High charge uh, area is one of the most fun things. It's so, in the so satisfying, isn't it? Barricade even so amazing. Right having that more often is always going to be so fun. Come back is some more change here uh, for the red team, as I'm sure a lot of these players experimented throughout this. Is now yeah, over like the balance Reaper. guys as well. Mag Obviously, like it, balance is going to so be whack because it's not. Uh, no <laughs> balance is whack anyway in Overwatch. <laughs> but it's like everything's in flux. But, she's so good as, like, a duelist, like, but what's interesting to me is this really doesn't be, seem pretty, pretty strong. And we definitely already knew that, like, right? that was as coordinated as I was expecting it to be. It does still seem. Like I mean, when we watch the devs play, but obviously the players are just more accurate, you know. Stuff is space there, gets it kind feels of like they're again. getting more coordinated. It, space more space it feels like they might like be like a kind of predictive DPSs. where they, they mess around at first and then they start losing. It's like guys, we got to play seriously. Speed 
in just well, not uh, verticality is going to end up playing, right? Where you know, Mag is able to get in a position. <laughs> That's a good play, thing. So the way, the way this works basically, is guys, is nice. whoever's pushed it the furthest oh, distance will win yeah. at the end of the timer, or nice. you push it all the way to the final sure, point and then you win. Sure the so in theory, realizing. it's like the impossible almost to, to draw this. It will be very unlikely to draw. Objective being really like a neutral objective is there's a lot of areas to play in the middle of the it, map. This that you map can just has got loads of little side go doors, doesn't it? And like little right. static objective, like a control Lots or something like that. There's so many like different this routes to take layout because obviously well, the robot yeah. takes a little bit of high ground makes that you can little bit of mobility so much more useful. There's a sense where you don't necessarily always want to fight around no, where TWO is, yeah, right? I don't think so. So these fights are being taken. Uh, external no shields, to yeah, it's, it's so really getting like, very close to like, Seven seconds on playing the Playing Reinhardt in this match uh, is going to be so difficult. Overtime will trigger because it, it feels the like that's just the more dynamic right now. Right. The blue team in the lead, you have. they'll have an opportunity yeah. as long as they control But it's like you almost need access to the high ground as well. Like in this, if you're Reinhardt running around with his bridge here, you just get battered. Unless TWO never moves, so I guess that is one situation. It'd be difficult and you jinx us if it did. EMP for three. TWO just hanging, <laughs> just hanging just off the barricade. <laughs> Dead Blossom here by Birdring to try and clear some space. Team Tool are moving for the time being, and they're using that to break line of sight, right? Using TWO and the barricade to avoid the damage, Whoop. but damn. So team basically, right, it, it, team, yeah, the barricade gives you a team a that are pushing now needs to stop. To and as well, they, they do get stop. But that was the win condition the for Team 1. They had to stop them. But they basically have to win a fight anymore, um, so that'll end up because there was no way they were going winning, to push it any which, further. As soon as they uh, win that really fight, it basically see, like, that would be the end of it. Kind of competitive showing of push. And that was all right. Think, uh, that was all right, actually. Uh, that wasn't too bad. It's still super deathmatchy, that is, isn't it? I mean, time just blends yeah. in right now, where yeah. we saw it played on Toronto. Uh, I want to make really the bold statement like and say I am in favor with, you know, of the that. general public and whatnot. Which I know is in like a competitive an odd statement to make really when watching the Overwatch League's uh, final, but think it's you like can see, uh, from some of that gameplay, right? It's like well, I've spent most of my time playing this game either with one uh, person of, like right, queuing as a duo you know, or playing tank. like solo duo. Definitely less of them, right? So the massive emphasis on team playing coordination currently in Overwatch pretty frequently makes it feel like you're so dependent on everyone working together and everyone playing together and pulling away. I was really By making it more deathmatchy and brawl, it, it, like it just opens the, the game wall, up a little bit for more individual contribution and so less like reliance right? on teammates. So right? you can take. Maybe that's we just me being selfish, but yeah, it's part of what it's yeah. like yeah, exactly. um, control as like a game mode. Because that feels like one player playing really well can have a lot of impact. Well, it's almost like control without shields isn't it in a way like we Thank didn't really see so shields did we chat we seen ryan and he just got his shield obliterated so we got a and then no more shields basically <laughs> as well to talk about what we which just mean it's see, more sort of really i don't know i bet you i, I, I bet you guys that's hey, really fun to play honestly i bet that feels goal. great to play <laughs> To watch, it was a bit all over the place, but you know, it's early days, literally their first time they've played Overwatch 2. But I reckon, I don't know, I think that'll work really well. I just think, like, when I played Push, which was years ago now, it was 6v6, and just having two tanks means you can, like, the tanks are hard to kill, right? So if they're just chilling on the point, the fights last much longer. This is like, everyone needs to win their sort of 1v1 almost. If you can get rid of the tank, that's going to be great. Absolutely, I just love the fast pace of it, which is actually. I'd also action. like give the warning of it's if you game. put now, a bunch of people completely fresh onto Overwatch, it would look similar. Oh, we got the game Play. director. Hang on, Josh. Oh. Hi, I'm doing great. Thank you. I could not hear you, but I assume you said I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm happy to be yeah. here. <laughs> well, we're just literally good. <laughs> Can you hear me? Right. <laughs> there you go. Now we hear you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tell me, how has it been for you to get to watch pro players uh, playing your baby Overwatch 2? It's been really great. I, I didn't actually think it was going to have this effect on me, so I I'm just kind of riffing here, but that was really special. If you think about it, this is the first time that anybody in the public has played our game. And as a developer, to just be able to work on something for such a long period of time and finally put it out and see it being played, and especially being played at like such a high level, it's actually like kind of emotional. Well, I played it in 2019. For me, and I, I'm sure the rest <laughs> of the team feels that way too. I bet, I bet we it does. Do. Yeah, we, we felt <laughs> emotional too watching it. That was just so much fun. Uh, before I hand it over to uh, Danny for the next question, uh, do you feel like they played it like you meant uh, for it to be played? 
Like, did yeah. they? <laughs> did they no, use what that's that. supposed yeah. to do? <laughs> they followed the script perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. There's, there's script for everything. I, I, I mean, that's what makes a good show, right? <laughs> All right, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hey. I just wanted to say hi before I ask my question. Yes. Hello. He's polite. He's so right. polite. Uh, you know, we were talking about the players, so my question is actually about the players as well. You know, we've seen some of the best Overwatch League players play Overwatch 2. Was there a standout player for you, or was there a player that impressed you the most? Um, are you talking about if if we're talking about the the um, the match we just watched or the, the show match? Yes, the match. The yeah. the tanks Sorry. were even more effective than I was expecting them to be, and especially on a Ooh. on our push maps. So we're talking about Rome, where there's this winding path that kind of that the um, the push robot follows, but through the middle of the map, there's this cut through that the teams can take, and I was um, really impressed with the way. A lot of times the tanks would cut through the middle and either push or cut off people from the other team. You saw um, D.Va do it um, about two thirds of the way through against the enemy team's Ash. Um, and it's something that we've always kind of wondered about when really good people play this match, like very organized teams, how many people are going to be on the, on the payload and how many people are going to be kind of pushing forward um, and taking the fight to the other team using a lot of these other areas of the map. Um, so it was really cool watching that, and it was really cool seeing how the tanks handled it. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's just really cool to see, like, how the game has changed with one hero out of the lineup, really. And something that I'm looking forward to in Overwatch 2 is just seeing how, like, how much better they get, especially with all the heroes. The question that I have is, in the future, when we get the build in uh, Overwatch League 2022, are we going to have the original, right now, 32 heroes all available for us? Yeah, so Jeff Goodman earlier talked about some of the reworks that we're doing. Talk we've about shown beta build. some of those reworks tonight, and we're going to keep doing those. It's really important for us that all of the heroes work in the new 5v5 um, world um, that Overwatch 2 is going to take place in. Our plan is that we will have all of those heroes, all 32 of those heroes, um, awesome. playable for, for, for um, the next season of Overwatch League. And who knows, there might even be a few more. Ooh, guys, I well, know hopefully you. there is a few more. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. Like the Bastion rework wasn't enough. We're getting more. <laughs> uh, really looking forward to that. Um, for my question, of course, we've now had a chance to look at pros taking on Overwatch 2 and playing some of that. But we didn't get to see the entire hero roster. You know, of course, some are being re reworked as we speak. Uh, but what are some things we perhaps didn't see that you're really looking forward to see Overwatch League pros get their hand on and see what they can do with uh, their creativity, of course, in the game? I'm really looking forward to them getting a handle on, on 5v5, the way the new heroes work, and how all of that works um, on some of our new maps, especially the new game mode maps. It's really cool to see, like, especially in that last match, you saw Reaper come out at a certain point, and he's so powerful in push because the teams are a lot closer together in a mode like this. Um, and they're always kind of just like dancing right at the edge of each other. And so heroes like that, we saw Doomfist out there, we saw Genji out there, they're they're really able to make big plays. And it's it's another one of those things that I think is, is kind of cool in 5v5. So yes, one or two kills does matter. It can turn a fight around, but at the same time, there is an opportunity to carry. Um, a a well-placed pulse bomb can completely even out that fight and start um, like pushing it in the other direction. Yeah, I, I do want to talk about push because it's a map that we haven't really explored or a mode that we haven't explored much at all. It, when you're designing these new push game modes, are you trying to create a different scenario to something you'd likely see in escort, hybrid or control? Do you want it to feel different to these other game modes? Yeah, that, that's part of it. Um, we, we want something that feels different. We want something that plays well. And one of the things that I really like about push and, and the reason why I feel like it's different is um, it takes a little bit from control and it takes a little bit from payload. So in control, like for a, a King of the Hill map, all of the action takes place in the middle of the map or most of it does um, on or around the control point. Um, and then in a payload map, you have 
action kind of happening all the way through the map and team fights happen in different areas. And so it's not just that the different hero compositions and what the teams are doing affects any of those team fights or any of the combat, but the actual map geometry does that too. So with something like push, it's a symmetrical game mode, just like control is, but you're, um, you're fighting all the way across the map um, in both directions. And then on top of that, the robot has different speeds in that map too. So we're able to kind of have this little catch up mechanic so teams can really push far into enemy territory and then like really bring it back quickly to the other side of the map. Yeah, absolutely. Now I do wonder, I mean, making a sequel, that's, it's always a tall order, even more so when the first one has been such a successful title. Uh, what was the most important thing for you and your team to preserve moving from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2? The, th the thing that um, I think is a, a hallmark of Overwatch um, is the, the way the heroes move, the way that they um, kind of synergize with each other, and the way that all of our game modes and our maps demand teams to work together. You can't accomplish everything by yourself in Overwatch. You have to um, work with your team in order to do it. So we really wanted to preserve that. Um, the, the new game mode that we saw tonight, Push, does it. Um, it. It still requires teamwork in 5v5. And then on top of that, the thing that I really, really love about Overwatch is just the way any of the individual heroes feel. Um, just jumping into the game and strafing back and forth um, feels good. Blinking around a map as Tracer feels amazing. So we, we had to preserve that. We had to make it feel like it was this same incredibly responsive game that requires all of the strategy and the cooperation that Overwatch 1 takes. Right, definitely. It looked smooth. It looked vibrant. It Beautiful. looked so much fun. So it looked like everything we wanted and then some. Now, uh, any last thoughts or sentiments, rather, you would like to share with the community before, you know, the first Reddit uh, thread pops up? <laughs> <laughs> Um, sure, you didn't even ask me when the game was gonna ship, so like I don't, I don't even know where to go. I tried my, honestly, I tried my luck with Jeff. He was very tightly. Give me the game <laughs> launch date now. Feel free, you know, yeah. take it. Would Do you? not understand <laughs> that. Yeah, pain this is causing me. That up myself. That, that was a, a huge mistake. But okay, I can't talk yeah, about I yourself. <laughs> I can't talk about when the game is gonna ship. But what it, I think one of the really exciting things that's happening is that. Um, Overwatch League is going to be playing the Overwatch 2 build next season. Um, and this is this is something that's really exciting for us to, to actually see this sequel that we're playing, an early build of it being played by, um, by the top players in the world. So um, I know we can't we can't talk about the date, but the game is moving forward and it's far enough along that we want Overwatch League playing it. Absolutely. I mean, you say Ooh. you're excited, but think about us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, <laughs> <all> we're counting <laughs> down the days already for the next season. Aaron, thank you so, so, so much for joining us. We can't wait to see more of the game and you and your team. But we've got a grand finals to finish. When we come back after this, we will crown the 2021 champion. So don't go anywhere. Aaron, once again, thank well, you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Huge news. Thanks, Aaron. We thank you. still don't have a launch date. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Us. Uh, us. All right. Still. Wow. <laughs> um. Listen, chat. I'm li I'm legit holding out hope that this straight up is some sort of PVE stream, like in November or something. Like you know, PVP start of the year, and then give me a bit of PVP. PV even at the end of the year, you know, because summer like, you know, it would have been nice if we got to see Sojin and like her abilities were broken down or something. But I guess she just isn't ready. Or maybe they've got another thing they want to do with her. I don't know. But then if they were gonna so if they were gonna show show her off, then it, surely they would have you know promoted that. Yeah, there's no way they'll sneak that one in as a surprise. It's got to be front and center, right? But it would have been nice. Yeah. Just to break her out. Break her out at the end of the round. Someone just gets railgunned. Blam. <laughs> I, I mean... I don't know what. 
Chat, I think they don't speak about the date because they probably don't know what the date is themselves. And, and once you yeah, give a I... date, then... I don't think they know. I don't think they have one, like, yeah. wired down. I mean, we know at least that there's going to be the Overwatch League build, and I imagine the beta should be around the same time. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't.